If endless to-do lists stress you out, I have an alternative. Hello, welcome to this week's Wild Spirits News. I'm Sibylla and I help women between 40 and 60 to do lots of what they love and to find their unique life purpose. And if that sounds interesting, check out my website, wildspiritscoaching.com. Today's topic is ditch the to-do list for a priorities list. When there's a lot to do, most people resort to the good old to-do list, meaning you write down every everything you need to do, and once you complete tasks, you check them or st uh, strike them out. But is this always the best way of going about things? A to-do list can put a lot of pressure on you. And as you roll over tasks that you didn't manage or didn't get to on one day to the next day or the next days and weeks, it can give you the impression that your work is never done, it's never complete. However, the alternative of not planning at all is really not a solution either, especially if, as I said, there is a lot going on because you, you'll you be in danger of forgetting things. There is, however, a viable alternative, and that's why your mission today is to learn how to replace a to-do list with a priorities list. The background to this is titled Ideal versus Reality. I can't just do less is what my clients usually tell me. And every one of them so far has found at least one thing that they could actually drop from their lives, although they didn't think it was possible at first. In most cases, even more than one thing. Remember that you were meant to rest at least 43% of your time. We're just not made for doing this much. And in order to achieve this, or to at least get closer to the ideal, you need to drop, like I said, non-essentials and let them go and decelerate your life in that way. It can be a challenge, but it can be done. Like I said, this is, in my experience so far, everyone was able to do that, even the busiest person that I've coached. And once you have done that, you take the remaining things, the remaining tasks, and prioritize them. And that brings me to today's task, which is create your priorities list. Every morning, Bonus points if you do it the night before. I'm usually not that organized, but that, you, can, you can strive for that as a goal, right? But otherwise, every morning, write down the tasks for this day, just for this day. Everything you have to do, and that includes menial tasks, small things like doing the dishes or making the bed. It's a good exercise to become clear about how much you actually do in an average day, how many different tasks you actually perform. And once you've written it all down, you pick one or two priorities, no more than two. That will be your priorities for the day, your focus for the day. Now, you may protest that you have more than two important things to do every day, to which I say still only pick one or two. You're a human being and not a human doing. And this is exactly what creates that stress. Learn to place these priorities. And if you, if you insist on a third one, then make it a passion. Make that third priority something that lights you up. And if you find that in your life it's literally not possible to restrict your really important tasks, your priorities to two a day, that might be a sign that you should that you should change something. Because again, human beings are not designed that way and this could have consequences and not positive ones in the long run. This priority list makes a huge difference and it does that because it focuses your attention and your energy on these two tasks. The priority tasks are those that when you've done, you, you absolutely have to do those in a day. That's what the priorities are about. That's what they mean. And when they are done, that's, that's good for this day. Then you can pat yourself on the, on the back. You can also do the less important tasks. Of course, you will in most cases. You will do lots more than these two. But for example, if you get stuck in a, less, less ex essential task, and it turns out to be much more complex and complicated than you initially thought, then you can make the decision to actually drop that because it's not a priority that day. It gives you an amount of, of wiggle room of control over your day, which feels good. It, makes, it feels in control and it uses much less mental energy to organize your day like that. 
it makes a big difference because it leaves more energy for the things that are actually important, such as your loved ones, such as your passions or yourself, right? So try this out and see what a difference it makes. And now I'd love to know where you stand on this. So please leave me a comment below the video or reply to the email that you got the link to the video with. I'll reply to every comment, I promise. And if you would like some more, like I said, check out my website, wildspiritscoaching.com. There you can also sign up for the 100% spam free Wild Spirits News Love Letter newsletter. That is one email per week. And I always include actually useful information that I don't share anywhere else. So it's really worth it signing up for it. It's not just some marketing newsletter. I wish you a beautiful week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.